Well, I can tell Matthew is happy. First of all, his smile, it's an infectious smile. He smiles a lot when he's here, by the way. <laughs> and uh, he, he holds himself high, you know? He holds, you can see just by his posture. Or he'll just come up and give you a hug. It's okay, you know? I don't know what's okay, but it's all right. Everybody have a dry hand? Yes. Okay. What I want you to do is actually take this leaf, rub it in your finger, rub it between your fingers. We try to offer our residents here the best quality of life that we possibly can. Oh, sounds good. <laughs> Very nice. St. Louis Center is a home for 70 people, both children and adults, with intellectual and developmental disabilities. It's been here since 1960. We have about 70 people in our campus, and there are 70 families behind. So multiply at least by four, you will see how many people are touched by what we are doing. Thank you, have a nice day now, sir. Thank you. Okay, thank you. The community at large supports us because they see what we provide to the families as a vital service. Uh, Mom fell in the kitchen one day getting Matthew's lunch ready, and that was about a year after Dad had passed away. Well, our family was experiencing what we knew would happen at some point in our lifetime, and that's how do we take care of Matthew when something happens to Mom and Dad. He's got two brothers and a sister. Oh, Ma, we'll take care of him. I didn't want to put that on them. I don't want to start crying. Um, but that's a lot to put on a, a sibling, because they have their own lives, they have their own careers, they have their own families. So. I thought, no, I want to get him set up and established. The number one thing that I hear is, is what's going to happen to my child after I'm gone. 75% of most families who have a child with a developmental disability take care of that child throughout their whole lives until they can't do it anymore. So we decided, well, why don't we do both things together at once? Legacy Project is now in its ninth year, and that's why we have so much building and construction going on right now. You know, it's really Father Enzo's concept of having an integrated community. How did that happen? How does that look like? It's never really been done before. When we started to envision this, and people told us we were crazy. <laughs> I said, yeah, we need to be crazy for the future. We will have a community here in which people with disabilities and people without disabilities live together. That's going to have single family housing, multi family housing. You know, when I was first getting introduced to St. Louis Center, when they would talk about this vision of creating a community that was very nurturing, it's very unique. I think it's the best kept secret in the country. And it will literally be a village community that will also include a wellness center, a chapel, a retail shop. And it will be a project that we will never see the end of. But I'm going to drive by here when I'm 80 years old, and they're still going to be building stuff here. It's all about the quality of life. God puts us here for a limited amount of time, and we have to use that time as wisely as we can. The people that live here deserve just as much out of their life as we do. They still need to eat, they still need to sleep, they still need to go out and have fun every day. And we try to provide them with that quality of life, and they deserve it just as much as anybody else.